Yep. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Indie Development 2013, the Indie Game Development Conference. My name is Rami Ismail, and I am half of Dutch independent studio Vlambeer. Um, has everybody heard of Vlambeer? Does, is, has anybody not heard of Vlambeer? Oh, God, do I need to? Okay. Uh, so, uh, what the hell? I'm going to take this thing off. Hi, uh, Vlambeer is a Dutch independent studio. We're two guys. We're based in Utrecht, the Netherlands. We're best known for a whole bunch of video games. Do I need to show one of those games? Okay, let me show one of those games. Um, um, oh, God. My computer here is not being nice to me. Okay, you know what? One of those games is called Ridiculous Fishing. You can play it on an iPad or an iPhone. If you have those, just throw $3 at me and you'll be able to see our game. Um, anyway. Um, where were we? Yeah, hi. Um, sorry. Um, it's been a bit of a hectic morning. I woke up this morning in Berlin at a maze festival. Um, three, four, four hours ago, um, and I flew over here to be here um, just to be able to welcome you to In Development 2013. And I just want to let you know that it's really good uh, to have you here um, because it is important to be at events as these. I don't know how many of you here are students. Thank you for being here. Um, it's really important that you show up to events like these. Um, not only to be able to talk to other developers, to other people that do the same thing as you do, to get inspired by people that have been doing this for a bit longer or just do different things than you, uh, but also to network, to get in touch with people that might help you out, get in touch with certain people, to find job opportunities, to just be a person that is part of a larger thing instead of just a person who sits at home making video games. Um, and it's a great opportunity to learn um, because uh, indie game development has grown a lot in the last years. Um, five years ago, there wasn't all that much. Nowadays, if you look at the diversity of things being presented here um, and, and the speakers that we have at the event, it's frankly a bit overwhelming. We have people that worked on Journey for the PlayStation 3. We have the guy that made Dinner Date. We've got people that worked on Sir You're Being Hunted, Lone Survivor, New Game Plus, and beyond that there are so many different games being made. Um, in case you haven't heard of games that I'm naming now, please go check them out. They're all really worthwhile, interesting, experimental games. Um, go check out games like Papers, please, if you've never heard of that, or Dysphoria. Um, you could buy our Ridiculous Fishing. Um, or play Awesome Knots, or play Reus. Um, the last three, uh, the last two of those are actually Dutch games. There's a lot of stuff happening in the Netherlands, and that's why it's good to have um, in development here. That's why I flew out from Berlin to present all this, because I think it is important that we have an event like this, and I think it is important that you show up here. So thank you all for being here. Um, and in um, as an extension to that, um, please don't don't use this event as an excuse to not go to other events. There are a bunch of events around the world that are all really worthwhile, that are all really good opportunities. Um, like I said, I woke up this morning in Berlin at a maze festival, which is really worthwhile if it doesn't coincide with this one next year. Um, go to GDC, the Game Developers Conference in San Francisco, or go to GDC Europe, the Game Developers Conference in Cologne. Um, go to Game City in, in Nottingham, go to Fantastic Arcade in Austin, go to PAX. Go to all these events because all these events will make you not only more aware of the things happening, but it will also make you a better game designer, a better game developer, better in sync with your thoughts. It will help you figure out things that you didn't know before. 
So for today, the schedule will be, we will start out with Jasper Byrne, if he actually manages to take the train. Oh yeah, he's here, yes. Okay, I don't need to do an awkward thing where I announce our first speaker is late. That is awesome. Uh, Jasper Byrne will be talking about making art through limitations. After that, we've got Jeroen Stout, uh, who will be speaking about the lie of the grandfather clock and searching for alternatives to attempting design. That sounds exciting. Uh, Tom Batts about cooking the book and how to clone yourself for game development. Uh, Robin Hunica and Austin Wintori uh, about experimental game design with sound in mind. Um, and Chris Avalon with advice to running a Kickstarter of your own. After that, we'll have the Indie Development Award and drinks. We've got a bunch of nominees and a prize to give away. Um, but I think we should just get started, right? So without further ado, let me introduce our first speaker for today, um, Jasper Byrne.